complicated situation. But the, the, the positive thing is that normalcy is returning to the streets of Harare. That, mm. is, that is the right thing to do. But as to whether this will be a soft coup or it will be a near coup is something that will unfold in the future. Are the there other, any chances, do you think, of things reversing where Mugabe literally refuses to step down? And, uh, well, we'd have to wait to see what happens to Mnagangwa, who was out of the country but now is back in Zimbabwe. You have to realize that there are two people who are back to Zimbabwe. There is Joyce Mujuru, Changirai also is back, mm. and, uh, Mnangangwa. Um, and Mnangangwa is back. But the interesting part is this. We, they are having their general elections next year. So the, 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 the general agreement might be that let us wait and uh, we go to the elections in the coming because it is just in a few months' time. Mm. And, but then uh, but the, the, the agreement might... How, how would you wait? Because here you have a president who the army seems not to be agreeing with. And I mean, that is uh, he is supposed to be the um, commander-in-chief of the armed forces. But here they are already so, sort of negotiating that you step down. Then secondly, you have leaders who uh, fell out with the president in the country and uh, negotiating to see how, how would that be a caretaker kind of a government? But looking at the four personalities outside Mugabe, the general Joyce Mujuru, Nagagwa, and, and, and Changirai, mm. I would always be of the view that let constitutionalism prevail for the simple reason that when, if you are to take away Mugabe today, what will happen to the four people? It is not that they will agree who will, who will lead the country. And the other thing is the delicate tribal politics around that nation, mm. whereby one t ethnic group constitutes around 70% of the nation. That is why taking, taking Mugabe out at this juncture is not the best thing. It is the view, most people are of the view that Mugabe should go. But I think he should go in a democratic and constitutional manner so that he lives behind a country which is intact. That can we, continue. Yes. And now